Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. Let's do some exercises for your carpal tunnel. You're going to need some two or three pound weights and a belt. Great, let's go ahead and start. We're going to do some arm circles. You're going to bring your, your, your palms up and extend your wrists out. We're going to do some circles here. It's going to help that carpal tunnel syndrome. These are things that are help mild to moderate carpal tunnel syndrome. If you feel pain or anything like that, numbness, increase of your problem while doing any of this, just stop immediately and let us know on your next visit. Let's go ahead to the other side. Good. We're just going to do some circles. The chest is up. You're circling. Oh, it feels good. You feel that front of that forearm just stretching out, maybe even the bicep stretch out. Really push, try and get those palms so they're facing away from you. The chest is up, the shoulders are down, very proud posture. It's almost like your head is just being pulled up to the ceiling. Good. The neck is long, loving it. Here we go. Let's do some exercises. Let's feel better. Let's get ready for life, whatever it has to offer. Great. So we're going to do some supination and pronation. Supination, you can think of it as holding a bowl of soup. So arms by your side, elbows at 90 degrees. Push into that supination like this and then bring the pronation for about a, a second and then push into the supination. Go, 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 go. Push, push, push and then pronate. Push into the supination for about four seconds. Shoulders up, sh sh chest is up, shoulders are down. Good and keep going. Good, let's do a couple away from the body. And down, good. Ooh, hold, and bring it down. Good, good range of motion here. You might hear even some pops and clicks in the elbow. That's okay. Really strengthening. There we go. Now, take your right hand, my left, and grab your thumb underneath and stretch just like that. Just pull that thumb. Chest is up. You can even bring the arm across the body a little bit. You might feel the stretch a little bit more intensely. Straighten the elbow. Use that tricep a little bit. And let's go ahead and grab the whole hand and stretch the forearm flexors. Let's go ahead and bring that to the side, show you a little bit there. Chest is up, good posture. Good, breathe into that. Congratulations, you've taken care of you today. Love it. This is where you've needed to be, right here. Let's switch hands. So your right palm is up, your left hand reaches underneath your right arm. Pull that thumb and let's stretch that thumb. Oh, it feels good to stretch that thumb, doesn't it? That thumb has just texted and moused and called and done so many things for you. Now it's time to give it some love. Let's love that thumb. Let's love that forearm. It's just people say, oh, it's my bad arm. No, it's your good arm. Considering all you've put it through, it's been good to you. Now let's be good to it. Now grab your hands and pull the hands down. The chest is up. Stretch that forearm. Nice stretch. There you go. We're getting ready. We're going to do some weights now. We're going to do some strengthening. Okay? We have to strengthen. We have to stretch. Bring some lubrication in. Bring some hydration in. So go ahead and grab those two to three pound weights. So we're going to go ahead and take our weights, put our hands at 90 degrees, and we're going to start with extensions, meaning you're going to bring the wrists up like this and then bring the palms down. We're going to go nice and slow, chest is up, and just control the weight. Always control it. Beautiful. Hold a little at the top and we're going to bring it up, squeeze at the top, and bring it down. Bring it up, squeeze at the top. Oh, I went with five. This is a bit much, but we'll get through it. And bring it down. Realize you can also use a water bottle. This is great. Or any Anything you can find around the house is consistent, two or three pounds. You'll get, you'll get to the point where you can do five pounds. Just keep extending. The chest is up. You may find that you want to rest your hand on a countertop or a table or something like that. 
I'm doing both hands because you know you use both hands and carpal tunnel sometimes can be in one hand but let's let's do prevention on the other because we're going to be getting the one hand that's functioning really well to do with things like mousing and things that might be causing some of the problems. Good and up and squeeze. Good let's go ahead and turn it around. We're going to extend and we're going to open and we're going to curl the wrist now. You might find change the angle just a little bit, bring it down just a tad on this one and slowly down and slowly up. Slowly down, again this is full control and curl at the top. If anything doesn't feel right, just stop. Nice and slow. Chest is up, long neck. Doing great. Keep curling. So let it go all the way out to the fingertips and then curl it all the way up. Out to the fingertips, curling it up. Out to the fingertips, curling it up. Good. So now we're going to change it. Palms are going to be facing each other. And you're going to bring the wrist down and bring them up and down and bring them up and squeeze at the top. This is called radial deviation. Down, bring it up, down, bring it up. Almost like you're trying to point the weight and then bring it back towards you. Point it and back towards you. Again, that Superman kind of posture. Proud superhero posture. Go with it. And lift it up. Nice and slow. It's almost like a four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. You might find different angles. You might want to bring it down, change the angle of the arm. You might feel a little bit more intensely. Now we're going to do ulnar deviation. You can bring the hands up like this and just point and bring it down. Just like that. It's like you're trying to send the weight down your forearm to your elbow and then arch it back over. A little popping and clicking in those wrists is okay. You're fine. And we're going to do this whole circuit all over again. You're going to get hopefully a little bit sore, but not too sore. Okay, let's go back to extensors. Arms by your side, palms down, and lift the wrists. Lift the wrists. Hopefully you're starting to feel a little burn now. But this isn't like grunting bodybuilding exercise. However, those forearms are going to look really nice. Put that watch on and boom, see that forearm just busting out of that wrist? It'll look nice. There we go. Feeling the burn now. A little slower. Slow it down. It's amazing. Number of reps can be a lot less when you're doing it slowly. And when you do it slowly, your muscles engaging the entire range of motion. It doesn't let up a lot. So you're strengthening it in the entire range of motion. Okay, we're going to do the curls now. Palms up and curl it down and curl it up. Curl it down. There we go. Really get those fingers open up and then just curl. Curl, roll them on in. Open and rolling on in. Open, rolling on in. That's it. Okay, back to radial deviation. There we go. And let's start it with a little bit 
more of a 45 degree angle instead of a 90 degree angle. I tend to go too fast. Sometimes I need to slow myself down for these a little bit. And you might need to also keep breathing. As with all exercises, you want to keep breathing. Never hold your breath when you're doing exercise, even a small exercise like this. There we go. Ooh, this is feeling good. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go to ulnar deviation. Arms up. Bend the elbows. Bring them back. And then lift. Just the wrists. And pinch it. Hold for a second. Slowly bring it down. Pinch it. And slowly down. That's it. Focus on the exercise. Focus on your posture. Focus on doing things totally correctly. Tap into your body. Listen to what it's telling you. Is it liking this? Is it sore but not painful? That's a good thing. Let's do 10 more. Well, maybe not 10. <laughs> I'm burdened. Let's put the weights down and we're going to dry our hands. We're going to shake our hands out like this. Absolutely good. How's that feel? Just move those hands around. Good. This one you can do throughout the day in between doing some computer work or whatever it is you're doing, just dry those hands, just get some circulation in there. Good, let's do some tendon glides now. We're gonna bring the hands up like this, fingers together, and we're just gonna glide the fingers down, bring the thumbs in, and we're gonna glide them up. This is a rolling of those fingers, tendon glides, but this is with the fingers together. That's it, lift them here. You can see it from the side like this, bringing it down, good. It's kind of challenging to keep the fingers together when you're doing this. It makes it a little more neurological. It doesn't, it's not just the musculoskeletal, it brings in the neurology, it brings in a little bit of a challenge there. That's it. Oof, bring them in tight. It's almost like those party noisemakers where you blow into them and they just unroll and then they oh and they close down and then they unroll like that good let's shake it out again Ooh, that feels good just shake 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 it get some oxygen in there good okay we're gonna get a little tendon glides we're gonna do a little different way we're gonna do them like a tiger we're gonna go really wide and then we're going to bring them in like this and squeeze and then open them and bring them wide, 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 wide. There you go. And squeeze them and bring them wide, wide. Open them hard and then squeeze them again and wide. Open, open, open. You can have your palms facing each other. Make a fist and open. Open those fingers, just stretch them out wide. Make a fist, stretch them out wide. There you go. Might have even, even a little shaking because this is dexterity. This is learning, it's seal ac acquisition. Open, there it is, and wide. Open, wide, open wide, and then here, now shake it out again. Beautiful. Now let's go into prayer, just like this, and let's invert the prayer, rotating your fingers or supinating your forearms, and really pushing, actively pushing your, it's like your thumbs are going away from you and your fingers are going towards your stomach. There you go, and chest is up, Great posture. Push, push into that. You got it. Big breaths. Let's take three deep breaths. Good. 
bring your left hand out in front of you and bring your wrist down. Take your right hand and just pull that wrist down. Just like this. We're stretching this part of your forearm. Chest is up and just pull. Straighten that left arm using your triceps. Okay, now grab your thumb with your fingers and we're going to adduct our wrist like this and take your opposite hand and pull that wrist further. Now we're stretching the base of the thumb right here. Really feel that. Any pain, any problems, obviously stop or ease up. Never go deep into the pain. You know, just go, just knock on the door. Beautiful. Let's go with the other side. Take your right hand, wrist down. Take your left hand, pull that wrist down, chest is up and feel that forearm stretch. We just worked that forearm pretty good. It should feel a nice stretch in there. It should feel wonderful. You might even feel it all the way to your elbow. Good, now grab the thumb with the fingers and we're gonna stretch that wrist down to stretch the base of that thumb and the tendons that go right up to it. Doing great. Next, we're gonna pick up our belt So you're going to put this on kind of like a lap belt, kind of like a, a seat belt, okay? So put it over your right shoulder, take your left hand and grab that belt, and then your right hand grabs it in the back, okay? And pull that belt down hard, and then bring your head to the opposite direction. And we're stretching that first rib down, we're stretching that clavicle, the scalenes, really stretching it out. A large percentage of the time, any problems with the carpal tunnel, we've got impingement upstream. The cervical spine and right around there, the brachial plexus. Good. Stretch it out. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Put that belt around like a lap belt. Cinch it in up, up near your neck. Pull down and stretch the other side. Take a breath through that. Big breath. When the video is done, you're going to continue on your own with your lacrosse ball or your mini foam roller. You can start with the lacrosse ball by just doing it on your hand and pushing the opposite hand down and just working that hand a little bit. You don't want to go over the carpal tunnel. You want to go above it. And then you can take the roller or the lacrosse ball and get the forearm. Let's work through this together. Give us a call. Thanks for being here.